Yes, yes, everybody. Welcome back once again to Big Nick Reacts. It's your boy, Big Nick here, about to break down another reaction. And today, we're going to be traveling to Italy for the second time on my channel. The first time we checked out Italy was a reaction to Andrea and Matteo Bocelli. It was a really sad song, but I'll leave a link up here if you want to go check that out if you haven't already. Besides that, this is a completely different artist from Italy. In fact, they are a band and they go by the name of Vasco Rossi. And so many people have suggested this song over the duration of me starting this channel. So, here we are with Vasco Rossi finally on my channel. And I'm looking forward to this. The majority of suggestions I got was asking me to do one of their live performances at Medina Park. So we ended up choosing the song Chess Edition No. I think I've pronounced that right. I might not. I apologise for my British accent if that's come out wrong. That probably sounds funny to an Italian because I'm probably saying it completely wrong. But at least I'm giving it a go. Correct me if I'm wrong. But this is Vasco Rossi, Chess Edition No. And it is live at Medina Park. Now, there's no subtitles. So I've had to pull up lyrics separately on the side of the video. So I'm going to try and break this down as much as I can. If I get the meaning of the song wrong, I apologise. Please comment and let me know. But not only will I be breaking down the lyrics I'll be breaking down the song performance the instrumentals the stage presence you name it I try to break down as much as I can with every single reaction I do aside that though let's get into the video and see what this one's about whoa look how many people are there you know I don't even know where Medina Park is I can hear the drums kicking into it then and it's like oh, come on but before we get into it let's quickly break down that segment and try analyze what he's saying there firstly I love how expressive he is on the stage of his body language and he's like over there over here because that's what he's saying in his lyrics basically he's saying something is wrong in the sky there's someone who does not know there are those that say they're here there are those that say they're there there are those that say there is an afterlife there are those that believe and then finally how many people will actually be satisfied so so far what i'm getting from this is there's so many different individualities on this earth and we can all pray and look up to the sky and believe in this believe in that be, be here be there but who of us is truly going to be satisfied with the life that we currently have on this earth that's what I'm getting so far I could be completely wrong I'm just going off what I'm reading what I've heard but let's carry on and see what else he says let me drop there Pausing it again before it drops. I'm just going to try pause it every drop to try break it down as much as I can. He's carrying on with the same message that he had in the previous verse. And he's saying, there is those that don't know who what a man is. There are those that don't show no respect. And there are those that simply just say no. So it's just a continuation of basically all these different types of people. So what I'm getting from this song is there's this person, this person, that person. And so many individualities. But who is actually going to be truly satisfied? with the life they currently have. I'm hoping that's where it gets to anyway, otherwise I'm completely off subject here. <laughs> but yeah, this is sounding so good so far. I wasn't expecting it to be so subtle to start off with, but with those drums and guitars in the background, I am expecting something big to come in, like a nice guitar and drum solo right at the end. So let's just carry on and enjoy this video. Like that. Mm. That's more like it. Mm. Yo, 
how many people are in this band? I'm loving this so far. I love the fact that how soft his voice was at the start, just to bring you in and everyone's singing along straight away. I mean, even I've got used to the chorus now and I'm singing along. I like the fact that he kept it subtle and the band kept the instrumental subtle. And then as we get into the song, the instruments build up and so do his vocals. You can hear him push more into his vocals and he's got that really husky, smoky tone to his voice, which I really like. I enjoy when someone's got that kind of husk to their voice. It adds just an element of difference to the singing. So straight away the lead singer here, I don't know his name, comment and let me know if you know his name and I'll learn more about this band but the lead singer this is fantastic. I'm not too sure if his name's actually Vasco Rossi or that's just the name of the band but so far so good and it seems like it's only going to get better and more intense near the end of the song so let's carry on. Oh, that guitar. I know I've just paused it near the end. I think it's come to the end of his solo, but I couldn't handle any more, man. I had to stop it for two minutes. Damn, that is probably one of the best guitar solos I have ever heard. I mean, if you're a rock fan, you'll know about Slash from Guns N' Roses, one of the best guitar players ever, but that must be the Italian version of Slash. Cause like, wow, he's on par. You see him just showing off with you. Show off all you want, man. You've got the, you've got the talent to show off, but like, yo, oh my. I have no words for that. That was just so damn impressive. Like, wow. I love that. And he's still going. No. I get too excited, I love guitars. <laughs> I do. Oh my god, he finished. That's one way to end it. Ha oh, ha. Yo! Like, oh, I let me compose myself. Oh my god. That is one of the best guitar playing I have heard on this channel so far. 100% without a doubt. I have heard some fantastic guitar solos, some fantastic backing instrumentals with the guitars and the, and the drums, but that, that right there is one of the 
best guitar solos I have ever heard. Well, one of. That's my favourite part of the song. I know I love the song, don't get me wrong. The only thing I will say about the song is that it seems a bit repetitive lyrically. It's, it's, it's still, it just goes on about, uh, they say no, they say no, people are there, people are here. But I understand the meaning 100% and I love it. And because it's sung by such a talented singer with that, like I say, smoky and rusky voice, it's beautiful, it's, it's fantastic, it, it suits it so, so much. I'd like to hear more from these. Maybe something a little more heavier, if there's anything heavier by these, because I'd love to hear his voice, like, at its full potential, like, fully going for it. So, if there's anything like that, comment and let me know. But so far, I'm impressed. I hope that was a good choice to choose for a first reaction to Vasco Rossi. Oh, and also, before I forget, when I was in Italy, I seen the logo that was on his guitar. It was, I seen it, like, posted up in a few places. It was more like graffiti, like, uh, it weren't, like, a government thing put up. It was more like graffiti artists had come out or, or people had put posters up. And it's the, the ones with... Fafiga? I don't know what Fafiga means, but I noticed it when I was in Italy myself a few months ago and there's that face with Fafiga on it and I was I just noticed it again on his guitar and I'm like I'm just wondering what is that symbol? Can someone let me know? Is there any Italians out there or anyone who understands that symbol? Please let me know because it's been bugging me and it's, that's just reminded me what that was because I was in Italy I was I went to Rome and it was in Rome and then there was more of it in Florence and I was like what is this symbol? I'm seeing this quite often and now I've seen it again, so I definitely need to know. But aside that going off subject from the song, this song was fantastic. I loved it. I loved the meaning of it. Like, it's true. Like, so many people are worried about this, 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 this and the other and believing in this and the afterlife. And what about right now? Are you not satisfied with life right now? Because you should be. You should be happy with the life you've got right now. You're able to breathe, bleed, feel pain, feel love. All these emotions, everything, you should be satisfied with right now because life is a blessing as long as you see it that way. So there's plenty that'll say no, but there's plenty that'll say yes, that's for sure. But with that being said, as always, we've come to the end of the video and I thoroughly enjoyed this. I hope you did too. And if you did, please make sure you give it a like, give it a comment, hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on another episode. Also, if you wish to donate, I'll leave my donation links in the description below along with the original video link so you can go check this out. Apart from that, it's your boy, Big Nick, Nuff Love, and peace out.